Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I'm back again with another very informative and very exciting YouTube tutorial in which I will try to solve a problem for mining engineers and geologists. I get a lot of this question and everyone is thinking that it is something that is impossible to solve but today I'm going to be showing you how to do this inside QGIS without any third-party plugins or you know tools this is something that it is not obvious for uh, a lot of people but it is very very useful when doing you know databases inside GIS tools and uh, you wanna you know have all your data inside a GIS tool uh, like QGIS or ArcGIS so I'm gonna be showing you how to manage drill hole data inside QGIS, how to visualize the data and get them to be well structured and you will be able to visualize them inside QGIS. When I say visualize them, I'm talking about the data but not the, the, the kind of drill holes that you, you used to see in mining packages, not in 3D, that's what I mean. But you will be able to visualize these you know all the different intervals and the sample data and everything like that so let me just show you really what is the problem what why people think that this is a problem okay let me go and import a text delimited layer let me go and import the color file so this is actually we have you know I think that most of you viewing this you know that any drill hole database we need to have a color file in which we have the x y and z and the uh, geology table or file in which we have the different geological intervals and the survey table and probably in the say table okay let's me let me go and take a look at the color table inside qjs so uh, i think this is something basic we have a semicolon separator and the X column it's this one the Y column is this one and you can choose whatever uh, system you have in here since this is the local system let me go and use this one for example now let me add this to the view let me go and zoom to the layer it's actually point data and you can see that I have all the different drill holes in here if I take a look right click and choose open attribute table I will be able to see the uh, X, Y, and Z for each one of these. But now, what if I want to see the different lithologies inside this one? So what people used to do is that, so let me just uh, show you why this is, uh, you know, this is a problem. So for example, if I open the geology, so you can see for each one of the drill holes, so for example, this this drill hole here, which is uh, you know a single one let me go and color these you can see for this one I don't have like one line so in the case of location I have X Y and Z single X single Y and single Z but now I have different lithologies so I have different lines how am I supposed to visualize these so what people used to do in the past is they copy the same X and Y and Z to these columns and they you know uh, visualize them inside QJS as you know multiple points you know on the top of each other which uh, which is you know a bad way to visualize you know drill holes because that's gonna you know for example if you want to count them uh, you don't you have to you know do some filters and uh, stuff like that in order to have the real count or do some manipulations we'll be doing that on multiple points which which is not a good way to do that but let me show you the right way to do this I wanna visualize these under th that single drill hole without having to go through and add multiple points so how do we do that it's easy let me go and get rid of this and now that's the color table and now all I have to do is to get this one the, ge the uh, geology drag and drop that inside QJS you can see now we have a table in here so now for example this one selected if I go to here and click on this drill hole you will notice that let me go and click on this one and let me go and do that again 
you can see I have the X, Y, and Z, and so on. But I don't have any other data like the different intervals intercepted by this drill hole. So what I need to do is we need to do what we call table relationship. So we need to, uh, you know, set some sort of a relationship between this table and this table. And for that, I need to have a unique ID. In our case, what is the unique ID, you think? It's the drill hole name. So what is the thing that is unique for all of these drill holes and needs to be unique it's actually the drill hole name and when I say unique so for example this one is called VDH and there's the dash in there so for example if in the geology table instead of that dash you'll have a space this is not gonna work so you need to have the exact same names in both of these tables or the multiple tables that you're gonna use so if I go to the color table now and choose properties and then I go down to joins and uh, uh, and what I need to do now is to uh, click on uh, this one here and choose geology and what is the table to join it's actually the borehole ID and the target field is actually sorry 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 I'm doing something <laughs> something else it's not that this way so you need to go <laughs> So the, the join is actually if you have like this table and you want, uh, there are some data in here that doesn't exist in here, you want to join this one with this one, but what we need to do is table relationship. So we need to go to properties in here, and we need to go to relation in here. You can see the icon in there, we have two different tables and we want to do a relationship between them and add relation. So the name is going to be, you can call it whatever you want, let's call this uh, geology and uh, rel probably and the the parent layer is going to be the color table and the reference field is the borehole ID and then the referencing child is going to be the geology and the field is going to be the borehole ID let's give this an ID of 1 and let's make it association and we click on OK now take a look at this if I take a look at this same exact drill hole you will notice that we have the X, Y, and Z, and we also have the from, to, and lithology, and these are the lithologies, and these are the interval intercepted, and it's actually the exact same drill hole. You can go and take a look at this one, for example, and you can visualize them either like this, take a look at each one of these intervals, or as a table, and you can see the different intervals. So and the good thing is you can add multiple tables and visualize samples and stuff like that. I hope this uh, was informative and see you in another tutorial.